So guys, when we talk about uh, comprehensive management of this problem of uh, uh, this uh, uh, problem of uh, improving uh, combination of dietary changes, lifestyle modification and, and medical interventions. So some of the comprehensive approach, approach to management of this problem of uh, uh, of this, we have a dietary management. So when we talk about dietary management, we talk about consuming diet rich in lean proteins, healthy fats, whole grain fruits, and also vegetables. And when we talk about uh, vitamin uh, rich foods, incorporate high vitamin D, B6, B12, E, vitamin C, vitamin E, C, and also A, and and uh, folate as uh, previously listed. So, <laughs> sorry guys. And when we talk about uh, healthy fats, including sources like uh, avocado, fatty, like uh, from avocados, we talk about nuts, seeds, and also fatty fish support the hormone production. We talk about zinc and magne magnesium. Uh, food rich in zinc, like oysters, beef, and also pumpkin seeds, and magnesium, at the end of the day, they really help uh, this uh, problem. So also we talk about hydration, we talk about drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, which is crucial for overall health being. So, so that's the part, one part of dietary management. The second part about it is about the exercise and the physical activity. And we talk about regular exercise, uh, engage in regular physical activity, including uh, both cardiovascular exercises like running and cycling. And strength uh, training is very important, where you get to lift weights so that uh, you get uh, uh, your body to that level, where to boost the sternal levels and also improve your cardiovascular health. Kegel exercise for men. Kegel exercise can strengthen the, the pelvic floor uh, muscles and improve erectile function. Weight management is also another very good component. Where you maintain by maintaining healthy weight, we mean we should achieve at least uh, uh, we we should achieve at least and uh, maintain healthy weight through balanced diet and regular exercise. So obesity, because obesity is linked to low uh, test testosterone levels, and also consequently poor sexual performance. So sleep and uh, stress management is very important. So adequate sleep by aiming seven to nine hours of good sleep, quality sleep per night, as poor sleep can lower the sternal levels and increase uh, cortisol or stress hormones. Stress, stress reduction is also another way of managing it. So practice stress management techniques such as mindfulness, yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises to lower the cortisol levels or stress le hormone levels which can negatively impact the testosterone. Number five is about lifestyle changes. Number one is about avoiding uh, smoking because smoking, uh, by quitting smoking, one improves blood circulation and uh, also blood vessel health. So at the end of the day, improving uh, well-being of uh, that health. Stress reduction. Uh, uh, also on lifestyle changes, we talk about limiting alcohol, reduced consumption of alcohol, excessive drinking can lower the sternal levels and impact sexual function. Moderate caffeine intake is very important. Limit caffeine intake to avoid it increased stress and potential sleep uh, disturbances. Medical management, uh, kindly go for regular medical checkup is very important because with the check a regular checkup, so you can provide can monitor the sterile levels and all your also overall health or well-being. Also, hormonal uh, replacement therapy is very important, what you call HRT. So if you have a significant low testosterone levels, your doctor may recommend hormonal replacement uh, therapy at the end of the day. So medication for erectile dysfunction also can be uh, prescribed what you call phosphodiesterase uh, uh, inhibitors, e.g. the Viagra and the Cialis or CI 
by Cialis I mean C-I-A-L-I-S so may be prescribed to help you also supplements can also be, be guided by a healthcare provider so that you get proper prescription from your doctor sexual health is also another component where communication with your openly with your partner on your sexual health is very important and preferences and any concerns that can improve intimacy and also sexual satisfaction professional help is also another component where seek advice from sexual therapist or counselor if you experience persistent issues with your sexual performance or relationship uh, difficulties so managing the sterile levels and improving bed performance requires multi-phase approach from dietary to regular physical activity weight management adequate uh, sleep stress reduction lifestyle modification regular medical checkups and open communication with the healthcare provider and essential for personalized advice on effective management by adopting these strategies individuals can enhance hormonal health and also overall well-being and also at the end of the day best sexual performance so unfortunately we may have some complications related to this of the low testosterone levels where number one we can have uh, physical health complications like reduced mass or strength and also mass because of the low testosterone levels increased uh, body fat because the, the sterone uh, helps to regulate the body fats so low levels can result in increased body fat particularly around the abdomen bone density loss this is where the sterone plays a crucial role in bone health so levels can low levels can lead to decreased uh, bone density so increasing the risk of waste of process and also fractures erectile dysfunction persistent difficulty in achieving or maintaining erection can directly uh, result to a low testosterone levels and a significant impact sexual satisfaction fatigue and low uh, and low energy so chronic fatigue and low energy levels can result from hormonal uh, hormonal imbalances affecting uh, and can significantly impact the sexual satisfaction cardiovascular issues because of the low testosterone levels can be linked to high uh, cardiovascular diseases including heart disease and also stroke mental health complications you have depression and anxiety coming up because of the imbalances with the mood swings and depression can come up and anxiety overall affecting mental health and the quality of life decreased motivation so low testosterone can lead to uh, lack of motivation and decreasing drive to engage in various activities in both personally and also professionally cognitive decline can be there in some evidence suggesting that low testosterone levels can be maybe associated with cognitive uh, decrease, decline and memory loss uh, issues sexual complications like low libido infertility and poor, poor performance also can be uh, can be there and this in turn can bring relationship and social complications such as strained uh, relationships and also social withdrawal can come out at the end of the day Unfortunately, we may have development of metabolic syndrome, low testosterone levels. So, except because it can it can now bring a high blood uh, sugar, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and also excess body fat around the waist because of the abnormal cholesterol. And can leave you have not watched our videos on on cholesterol, uh, talking about our previous video on cholesterol. Kindly check on it. It's very educative. Uh, on all issues regarding uh, this uh, 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 cholesterol thing. So, uh, on the prevention part of it, balanced nutrition, things like uh, balanced nutrition, regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, adequate sleep, stress management, health life choices, and also regular medical checkups, supplementation by your healthcare provider, what we call hormonal replacement therapy can be very 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 vital to help us uh, uh, get to level where we need where it is needed where it is really needed 
<laughs> Sorry guys, I have a flu. So by adopting a proactive approach, sorry, that includes a healthy diet, regular uh, exercise, adequate sleep, stress management and health lifestyle choices, individuals can support their hormonal health and also improve bed performance, regular medical checkups and professional guidance are essential for personalized advice and effective management. Guys, right, so welcome to the channel is Nasv. Please, if you have not subscribed, you have uh, those seconds to subscribe. Like the video. By liking the video, you get YouTube to recommend us to a larger population. And kindly uh, give us a nice comment below. And also support our channel through uh, the links we've shared in uh, the channel. So that we take this channel to the next level. Guys, I want to welcome you to the next video. Peace and we love you very much. Guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Azvi. And I can't leave you alone subscribed. I want to encourage you to subscribe. This is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language which we always or we can always understand. And we are in the journey to 10,000 subscribers. And guys, if you have not really subscribed to our channel, I want to request you. Uh, we are really working hard to take this channel to the next level. Please uh, support us in the best way which uh, you can. So guys, today we will talk about something very important. So kindly, if you not uh, really subscribed to our channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Let us know how we are doing in our channel. <laughs> Give us your nice comment below by liking the video, you get YouTube to recommend us. So today we are going to talk about uh, the seven vitamins. The seven vitamins that will improve the testosterone and the bed uh, performance or libido. Seven vit vitamins that will improve testosterone and also uh, bed uh, performance. So it's hot today guys. Sit back, watch, that's what we're going to talk about. In my previous video, I talked about the sterile and the role in, in both the female and the male. Especially males, uh, it's, a, it's a great component. When we talk about the sterile, it plays a very important role in our... In men, so men, uh, so kindly uh, watch the video because I'm going to talk about something very important in regard uh, to uh, testosterone and its store in our body. So improving testosterone levels and uh, bad performance can be influenced by several vitamins that support overall mono and also uh, mono balance energy levels and also our sexual health. So I'm going to give uh, seven uh, vitamins that can help in my previous video, I talked about a special vitamin called uh, vitamin B12. And kindly, if you did not watch the video, I want to encourage you to watch the video because I discussed very important aspects on that video, on uh, especially how vitamin is very important. So, number one vitamin which uh, participates in testosterone and also sexual performance or libido I'm going to talk about a special vitamin called vitamin D and when you talk about uh, vitamin B, vitamin D if you remember from our previous video I talked about uh, the sterile, about the sterile production so vitamin D is crucial for the production of the sterile and also adequate level of vitamin D is uh, very important because it uh, is crucial for the production of the, the, the sterile and when we talk about adequate levels, we talk about uh, uh, the enhanced uh, vitamin, uh, the vitamin A, and enhanced vitamin uh, testosterone levels, especially in men with the uh, with the deficiency, they may have a problem uh, with uh, uh, when you are deficient in testosterone. So the vitamin D helps in the production of the same. So. When we talk about the sources of vitamin D, we talk about exposure to the sunlight, uh, 
for some time, fatty fish, and we're talking about uh, salmon and mackerel, is a uh, good source of vitamin D and also fortified foods and uh, supplements. Number two, a uh, very important uh, vitamin, it's about vitamin B6. And when we talk about uh, vitamin B6, is about hormonal regulation. Uh, so vitamin B6 uh, plays a role in regulating androgens, and uh, which are essential for the sterile production. When we talk about androgens, we are talking about uh, the special hormones which give uh, male characteristics. So here, we, when we talk about B6 uh, as a vitamin, is it regulates the androgens, which are essential for the sterile. So also, when we talk about B6, it, uh, it, uh, it helps in uh, energy and the mood. So it helps to improve energy levels and the mood of the of, of, of oneself, which enhance overall sexual performance because mood and the energy is very important for uh, best uh, sexual performance. Also, sources for the vitamin B6, we have poultry or chicken, we have fish, we have potatoes, we have chickpeas, we have bananas and also fortified uh, cereals. They can be a good source for vitamin B6. As a special vitamin, so this vitamin B12 participates in energy metabolism and also because vitamin B12 is vital for energy production and it reduces uh, fatigue, it plays a very important role, especially when one experience, is experiencing fatigue. So this vitamin really helps to reduce fatigue, which can improve uh, sexual performance at the end of the day. Also, when we talk about uh, vitamin B12, it helps for nerve health because it's, uh, it supports uh, nerve, uh, nerve function, so which is very important for sexual arousal and response. And sources for this vitamin uh, B12, we have meat, we have uh, fish, we have dairy products, eggs, and also fortified, uh, fortified uh, cereals. Number four is about vitamin E. It's also a very important vitamin. This is an antioxidant because it has antioxidant properties. Vitamin E is an antioxidant uh, that helps protect the cells from oxidative stress, and this which can support the health of the testosterone levels. Number two on this uh, vitamin E, we have the on the circulation as also another property it has. So it improves blood circulation, which is essential for erectile function. And also sources for this one include uh, nuts. Uh, they include uh, seeds, includes spinach, and also vegetables. Uh, also, they are the good source for this vitamin. Number five vitamin is when we talk about uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C uh, it plays a very important role in stress uh, reduction. So, <coughs> when we talk about vitamin C, so we are talking about uh, stress hormones. So, uh, vitamin C is uh, can uh, can negatively impact the sterile levels. So, vitamin C reduces the stress levels. Also, in blood flow, it supports blood flow, uh, especially in blood vessel health, improving circulation and erectile function at the end of the day. Also, we have uh, sources for this one. We have things like citrus fruits, strawberries. We have uh, belly uh, peppers, broccoli, and also tomatoes, which play a very important role over the same. Number six vitamin is uh, vitamin A. It plays a very important role for hormonal balance. So vitamin A is involved in the synthesis of uh, testosterone and uh, helps regulate the production of uh, sex uh, or, or, or hormones. So also on sperm health, it is essential for maintaining the health of the sperm, especially in the process of production. And the sources for, for this vitamin A, we have things like carrots, we have sweet potatoes, potatoes we have uh, spinach, we have kale, and also liver as a good source of this vitamin A. Number seven is what, what you call folate. 
Uh, folate is also called uh, vitamin B9. So the vitamin B9 uh, plays a very important role in cellular function. So folate is important for the DNA synthesis and also cellular function which supports the overall health. And also on the folate, about the sperm health, it plays a role in sperm production and quality. And the sources of, for this are the leafy green vegetables. We have legumes, we have nuts, we have uh, fortified uh, uh, grains also. So, in the incorporation of the seven uh, vitamins which you've mentioned in this video, it's, it, it gives into your diet, uh, in the, it gives your health into a level of the terrain production and also energy levels and overall sexual performance is improved at the end of the day. So a, a, a good balanced diet rich in these vitamins combined with the health lifestyle can contribute to the better hormonal health and improved bed performance at the, day, uh, at the end of the day. So if necessary, supplements can be considered with the health advice from the healthcare provider to provide you with the best knowledge on these uh, vitamins which are very essential. Guys, to, to ensure that uh, we have adequate amount of uh, vitamins that can improve the sterile and bed performance, and incorporate the following sources into your diet. Now, vitamin D, we talk about sources. We're talking about uh, exposure to sunlight is the most natural way to obtain vitamin D. So spending about uh, 30 to th 10 to 30 minutes in, mid in the midday sun several times a week can help maintain adequate levels of the vitamin D. On the food, we talk about fatty fish, uh, like salmon, we're talking about mackerel, we talk about tuna, we talk about sadness, These are, uh, they're very good on the fatty fish sources for vitamin D. Egg yolk also, the yolk of the egg is also very important. Cheese, fortified foods also. Uh, milk, orange juice and cereals can be a good source for vitamin D. So uh, on the supplements, vitamin D3 supplements can be used, especially in areas with uh, limited sunlight, because we know in some areas we have very limited uh, sunlight and this can be a great challenge at that particular point. On the vitamin B6 sources, we talk of poultry, chicken, turkey. On fish, we talk about salmon and tuna. Potatoes, chickpeas, bananas, fortified cereals, avocados and nuts are good sources of vitamin B6. On supplements, of, uh, as part of uh, vitamin B complex vitamins, uh, or, or as individual B6, can be a good uh, uh, source of uh, the B6 supplements. Vitamin B12 sources, we have foods like meat. B, uh, we talk about, uh, when we talk about uh, meat, we talk about beef and liver. So fish, salmon, trout and tuna are also very important. Dairy products, we are talking about milk, cheese and yogurt. They are good source of vitamin B12. We have also have supplements for B complex vitamins or when recommended for vegetarians and those who are vegans. So vitamin E sources, we have nuts, and when I talk about nuts, I'm talking about the almonds and also hazelnuts, seeds like uh, sunflower seeds, spinach, broccoli, and also vegetable oils. When I talk about uh, vegetable oils, I'm talking about uh, sunflower, safflower, wheat, uh, wheat jam oil also, and the fortified cereals can be a good source for vitamin E. Also, there we have synthetic type of, of the supplements, which can also be a good source of the same. So, vitamin C, we talk about uh, foods like uh, uh, citrus fruits, uh, citrus fruits, which are example oranges, grapefruits, and lemons, strawberries, belly peppers, broccoli, brussels, sprouts, and tomatoes, and spinach. They can be a good source for vitamin C. And also, where it is not possible, we have a uh, vitamin B6 source, which can uh, be available from other sources. And when we talk about the other sources, uh, like uh, vitamin C supplements, which can help, uh, which can help, which can be 
uh, can come from other sources such as uh, uh, chewable tablets and also part of the vitamin uh, vitamin C and also we talk about vitamin A so on this vitamin A the sources the good sources for vitamin A we talk about uh, uh, we, we talk about uh, a good source of this is a uh, carrots sweet potato sweet potatoes and also <coughs> sorry guys vitamin C uh, spinach kale liver red bell peppers and ca cantaloupe vitamin A uh, is also found in daily products and fortified uh, cereals also we can have uh, folate on folate sources we have uh, leafy green vegetables as a good source for this and when I talk about green uh, leafy vegetables I'm talking about spinach I'm talking about kale I'm talking about uh, liver I'm talking about red bell peppers I'm talking about uh, cantaloupe also we have citrus fruits and fortified grains also bread uh, bread pasta and cereals also can be a good source of these uh, vitamins in incorporating these vitamins guys rich foods into the diet can help to support the, the steroid production and also bring about uh, energy levels and overall sexual performance so supplements can also be considered but it can um, it's uh, advisable to consult with the healthcare professional before starting any new supplements regimen to ensure that it's appropriate appropriate for these uh, individual health needs so also on managing uh, the steroid levels and improving bed performance it involves a combination of data changes modification and even